Tonight on Up to the Minute, discrimination or disdain, conspiracy or cover-up, and should we have a national holiday in February? Now let's join Ginger G in the first of a three-part series, Red, the New Black. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> let's join Ginger G on location. Ginger? We are here in Dodge City, a small town with old buildings in Canada. We're here to discuss the local debate on the national holiday that they are proposing uh, to celebrate Redheads uh, Ginger Day. Behind me is the um, Masonic uh, Temple. Uh, we believe there might be some important documents. They could be in over here. We have the museum archives with souvenirs. This is all very um, secretive information that we believe um, is uh, being held by the government. Um, so we are here to find out what the people think in, uh, th in this town. My name is Andrew. Andrew, you're aware that the government is trying to wipe out redheads and we are lobbying to um, have National Redhead Day in February? Yes. Are you in agreement of this holiday? Absolutely not. I don't, I don't fear them, I just don't like them. Um, the long story stems back to my childhood. I don't want to get into it. But you have red beard. I do, unfortunately. And your mother's a redhead? Yes, she is. And you hate your mother? I don't hate her, but we don't speak. You don't speak because she has red hair. That Correct. might get in my face. This interview's over. It's over. Here we have it, here we have it, here we have it, live in Dodge City, a, a man terrified from this government. Ginger, uh, those are some shocking allegations. Do you have any evidence to support these theories? On the one dollar bill, which I have here as part evidence, um, the the eye and the triangle um, is actually the same bloodline um, as the redheads. Um, this information was only given to people with red hair and the, Mas and the Masons are um, in on it together. Uh, for well, those are some serious allegations, Double G. Do you have any evidence to back up those theories? Breaking news from a very reliable source. Do you, what can you tell us about the conspiracy against red-headed people? Uh, they shot one out at the lake. It was, uh, wasn't it Ginger Baker? Yeah, the, he could do a one-handed drum roll. The union was against him or something? Oh, people got to look into the Freemasons more. There's uh, the, every president, every congressman, every senator is a Freemason. Albert Pike wrote Morals and Dogma. He states openly in Morals and Dogma that it's a Luciferian religion because Lucifer gave man knowledge when God kept it hidden from him. And did Lucifer have red hair? Uh, I don't know. Apparently this is the theory. When you go to the cemetery, you will see the redheads are in the left-hand corner of the cemetery and it's disgusting. Well, it's true we have found some redheads in the cemetery, but I'm sure we'll have to do some DNA testing to see if, you know, if the evidence rings true. We believe um, it is a government conspiracy and the information that we need to prove is in these buildings. Um, if we can prove it, then we um, will have some grounds and basis to um, continue and get our national holiday. <laughs> And don't forget to join us next week, the second edition of our three-part series when Ginger explores those nicknames and the effect they have on the red-headed psyche. It's just so upsetting. It hurts. And don't forget to tune in to part three for Ginger Snaps when redheads bully back. People think that I am upset because I have red hair and that I get upset. I think that this is completely unacceptable and we need to fight back. You may never want to bully another redhead again. For Up to the Minute, this is Hannah Jones.